In today's video, I'll answer the question, what is it like freelancing as a new software developer? The first thing I did on day one of this freelance journey was to create a personal portfolio website. And on my portfolio page, I only wanted to show the best the very, very best I have created. The first one being a Twitter clone, which I made by following a course. Why are you telling me this? I really don't care. Well, I'm just showing this because I wanted to show my skill level, basically just showing that I'm your average junior developer while I'm starting this freelance journey, just so you know the level I'm starting on. So there's no confusion. I'm no expert. I'm no beginner. I'm something junior junior yes anyway the next thing we have to do is to actually start freelancing and gain clients so let's do that there is a lot of ways to find clients these days but the easiest one to start with is creating a profile on upwork.com it is a place where a lot of people freelance so when setting up my account on upwork i made sure to make it the best possible by having the best picture the best profile description and just displaying my portfolio in the best way possible. And I was ready to start applying to jobs and basically start freelancing. So the first three days of this freelance journey were to say simply very humbling. At first I was very hyped because I saw so many coding related projects. A project would be posted and in two minutes around 50 people would apply and it would be pretty much impossible for them to notice me. But nevertheless, I applied to around six jobs and I got one message, which was an Upwork automated message about building portfolios. So yeah, that meant that one, I'm sad, and two, that I need a new plan. The new plan was simple. No one seems to be interested in working with me due to my account not having any reviews so let's just get an account with reviews sounds simple and in my case it really was as i had a 3d freelancer account which had a bunch of reviews of projects I have worked on in the past. And I thought I'll add coding to this profile and then try to apply from this account to see if that makes any difference. And a difference did it make, let me tell you. I got so many new response, I'm joking. It literally changed nothing, not a single thing changed. I got zero messages. I even paid Upwork to get these points which allowed me to apply to more jobs and then I applied to around 11 jobs and I only got one response. And the response I got was for a 3D project I applied to. It wasn't anything coding related. So these last 15 days of me trying to freelance have been uh, pretty humbling to say the least. But I think there's a bunch of learning points that I gathered while I was trying this and these learning points are the first that the portfolio is the most important thing you can have literally the most most important thing is your portfolio and what you have done I think I definitely did not get as many responses because my portfolio was not that good. For example, the 3D job I applied to from my 3D freelancer account, I got a response almost instantly because my portfolio in 3D was so good. So they wanted to work with me ASAP, but in coding, it wasn't the case. The second learning point is that you need to find a small niche in the coding space or any space you freelance in. So let's say I only chose coding for e-commerce websites like Shopify and stuff like that. It would be one, a lot simpler for me as a developer because I would know everything that's going on in the space. And the second thing would be that the clients would appreciate me having the same projects in my past so they would know that I'm an expert in my field. And the final and the most important tip I have is, wait, did you hear that? 
Did I just get a message? Hi, Peter. Just wanted to tell you that I watched your videos on YouTube and I think you're doing a great job by trying things out. But I'm trying to find a solution to a different problem you face. I like your style and approach. Keep doing it. Waita. So also thank you for offering free help. Wow, at least he likes the channel, I guess. Hit subscribe. By the way, it's not fake. I applied to a job. The guy just checked my portfolio, then found my YouTube channel somehow and was like, great stuff, but no thanks. <laughs> I, 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 I. Anyways, the third and the final learning point is that the reviews are very important, but having a portfolio and being in a niche is a lot more important. Do you know what's even more important? This video that I made about the biggest coding YouTubers course, it's Firebase, maybe you heard of the guy. I followed one of his uh, coding things, you can check it out.